You don't know you're a misfit until you are marked as an outcast. From the darkest hour of American history emerges a mesmerizing tale of tender love, a life interrupted, and faith recovered. Saffron Dreams, a novel by Shala Abdullah. My journey spans half a decade, from the biggest loss of my life to where I am now. It is about turning your heart inside out, mending it and putting it right back in, as it is about looking at life from the perspective of someone trapped in time. Saffron Dreams, a novel about our ever-evolving identities and the events and places that shape them. I looked on as day after day the media tried, sentenced, and hung my faith. I witnessed the lynching of a religion and race again and again. Our obscurity rendered us useless. We created nothing newsworthy and powered no conflicts. What is a story if there isn't a divergence? After her husband's death and the collapse of the World Trade Center, the discovery of his unfinished manuscript marks Orissa's reconnection to life. How do you end a story that's not yours? Add another sentence where there is a pause. What if you kill something breathing and breathe life into something the author wanted to eliminate? How do you fill the shoes of someone who will never again fill his own? In the midst of tragedy, sometimes our dreams can become a lasting legacy. Tomorrow, I will paint in the two boys the stigmas of saffron. <laughs>